It is a very large study done in the second line setting for patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer. And we have to remind that for this patient, the outcome is very poor. Response rate consistently less than 10%, PFS uh, uh, below three months, and median survival from approximately seven to nine months. That is the context of the trial. Ramisirumab is a monoclonal antibody, an anti-angiogenic agent. It targets the VEGF receptor 2 on endothelial cells, and so it can inhibit the formation of new blood vessels, and so it can inhibit the tumor growth. We have still to, to define who are the patients who will benefit most from this drug? We have a large biomarker program uh, in, in this study, which is running now, but we have not the answer. But we are trying to identify the patient who, who can benefit most. But in a clinical way, uh, most subgroup of patients benefit from ramisirumab in our trial. We try to assess the impact of the addition of ramisirumab to the standard second-line treatment with docetaxel. So it was a randomized trial comparing ramisirumab plus docetaxel versus placebo plus docetaxel. And we find that the addition of ramisirumab significantly improved the overall survival for patients with a median survival for, of 10.5 months compared to 9.1 months in the control arm. And also, we, 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 we saw that the addition of ramisirumab consistently improved the response rate from 14% to 23% and the median PFS also from 3 months to 4.5 months. In the routine clinical practice, patients treated with single agent second line treatment have a very poor outcome. The response rate is consistently below 10%. The median PFS is around two or three months, and the median of overall survival from seven to nine months in the best trials. So the, the outcome is very poor, and there is a large unmet medical need, and we made no advances in this field since a decade. Ramisirumab is not approved in this indication today, so I think we will see if it will be approved. But I think it's a, a step forward for patients in second line setting. And as a clinician, I think the, 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 the ability of a new agent to improve response rate, progression free survival, and overall survival the first time since 2005 is a, a significant advance for patients. The key message is that this is the first, the Ravel study is the first study dem to demonstrate a significant survival advantage in second line therapy of patients with advanced non small cell cancer and, more in, and also in both patients, in both histologic subtypes, squamous and non squamous.